Two-star reputation. Regional, two-star reputation. That means, essentially, people in London have heard of me, which is, after how, how many years? After 13 years or so, at last. I've been handing flyers out, I've been doing hot air balloons, and finally, if someone's gone, Thames, yeah, I know Thames. The river? No, not the, well, that's their nickname, but... Oh, that's a nightmare. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the episode of Thames FC, me, Dr. Benji FM. And if you watched last episode, go and watch that first. We've got a massive game for us today. The biggest game of Thames' history in terms of who we're playing against in a competitive game is Chelsea. And I look forward to it. Let's see, then, how have you got on since we last met? I'll give you a clue. Very bloody well. So, you can see, since our 5-2 defeat and 2-0 victory over Hull City, our league form has been particularly good. Let's check our trophy games. Curious. Uh, Mansfield, Swindon and Cambridge all beaten. Portsmouth, Wigan and Doncaster all beaten there is a theme in every single one of those games though since the whole match at least not a single clean sheet to speak of Gavin Fitzpatrick uh, is having a tough time our defence not as good as I thought it was but you'll also note 5-4-4-3-3 we're scoring lots of goals but there was a defeat in there uh, it was a 1-1 draw then we lost on penalties not ideal Cousins and Hughes missing uh, I played a, basically a second side and thought let's just give them an entire rest. everyone's having a rest no subs have been made we're just going to let them do as they do and uh, our second team didn't do that badly to be fair so i could be kind of happy with that uh, league table wise then we are second in the division and because of our league cup successes uh, we have got loads of games in hand three uh, three games left to go for us to be level with everyone else 38 points in the bank but South End, uh, South End are still above us by two points but obviously win our games and we'll move ahead of them uh, we, and we can start trying to get some points back on them today as we've got two games coming up for you we say Chelsea coming up but the first game's first and it's not on the list of games to do. Uh, go back a bit there we go Coventry lovely oh, you can see there by the way Altidale 15 goals so far this season and he, he's having he's having quite the year 11 assists 15 and 15 he's he's producing on the biggest stage <laughs> i've just realized what the stage is but not the biggest stage a stage a stage he's on a stage it's worth noting Altidale has played at this level before he's, he's, he's played games at league one for chesterfield uh, now he's back there he's doing the business for west ham never really got an opportunity to do anything so um here we go now bit of a problem although not really a problem is that lawrence smith is gonna have to step out today i picked up a booking in our last game and we'll miss this game there's a good point to that, and that point is the fact that... Oh, apparently that's not a good point. Facebook wants me. The good thing about that, though, is that Keon Harris can come in. Not only that, but Lawrence Smith will be available for the Chelsea game. So if you look at the lineup here, you can see it's not too bad. Fitzpatrick in goal, Wolfenden, Wilkinson, Holness and Welsh. That's one of our better uh, back, back fours, I think. Of course, we could play Ramsey in there as well. Uh, he's an equally very good option. And in fact, maybe we'll put him in there. Or do we give Wolfenden the start? Both of them are pretty good. We'll play Wolfenden. Why not? He's been decent when played. Uh, Harris will sit just in front then. Holmes and Burgess will play ahead of them. Hughes is going to step in for Altadel and Rogers to work off of and Burgess I should focus on him as well he's had a fantastic year so far 12 games 9 goals 6 assists it might go under the radar a little bit when you've got sort of striking talents as Rogers and Alterdale who have already got 34 goals between them but yeah Burgess has been fantastic Hughes has come in of course because of the injury to uh, to Paul Colton and we've just sort of been mixing the match in the midfield Barry McDonnell was in there at one point but we're going with this now Burgess in that deeper role and Hughes to play in a, in a more forward uh, position we can change it around if we need to well. Stevie Foster can feature if needs be but let's get into this first game then Coventry coming up let's see how we do they're fourth in the table so this should be a good old battle now away from home should i show you our away record let's show you our away record can i do it on this no so there you can see it then that's Thames's away record this season seven played no defeats on the board our home record actually not so good at all we've won five drawn two lost one uh some teams have far better records wickham for example in fifth they're unbeaten at home so far this season but as i say our away record very very good so let's get it with the inform side in the division six in a row is the win streak so let's continue that today please now obviously last time you played we played against a, a shrewsbury was it got beat 5-2 in, in the last episode not ideal then we went and beat hull which made no sense whatsoever but it did happen so then they're playing five across the middle with ryan kent liverpool hall of famer i suspect not on this game though uh, let's play for derby hull brighton uh, derby again let's play for watford for a little bit and then on a free transfer after not playing any football no goals or assists to his name good okay we're playing the diamond of course we are Humsen and Burgess in the center let's get it 
passionately say, come on, lads, let's keep this run going. We are playing fantastically well. Uh, it's, we haven't had too many late, like, sort of last minute goals either. Recent episodes, that has been the case. Uh, but no, in recent games, we've not needed it. We've taken leads to then just sort of slept in the second half and conceded a few goals, which not ideal. Uh, we're in the white today as well. That might be confusing. We're in the white, they're in the blue. We're away from home. There's a corner from Harris is played in. First action of the game, and Altadal gets it just over. That could have been a goal early on. They are tired as teddies. If Teddy's can be tired. Yeah, some of their players are not fully fit for this, and hopefully we can take advantage. So not, not so much in the first half, because they'll be at a similar level to us, but second half, as they, as they start to tire, that Altadol's pace causes all sorts of problems. Uh, so the first chance of the game, then it starts with Fitzpatrick, and it's going to work its way forward. And uh, this is where I love to see us play, because of the fact we've got those four in the middle, nice playmakers as well, all of them capable of finding a killer pass forward. Uh, usually there's some quite nice interplay between them, as I'm sort of setting this up, boys. If you could now do something magical, that would be great. Goes up to Welsh on that side, as we're stretching them quite a lot here, but we need to try and find a breakthrough. They're quite, I mean, look at that. That is very compact in the centre there. All sorts going on. So it's about finding that ball into the middle, into Hughes now, who finds Altadal, little bit of space, and that could have been 1-0, because it's going to be tricky, I think, to break down the middle, especially when we play a diamond. They're playing those five across, of course, so they've got three slap bang in the centre. Uh, I mean, a goal might open this up a little bit, so we, we need to try and do that. And there's another highlight for us, though. It's given away this time, and uh, we've got to be careful. They're number 40 in behind, just wanting it, and Newton finds himself in on goal. Fitzpatrick with a great save to his right-hand side and pushes it away. Possession-wise, we're dominating, but there might be a call to change things up a little bit if it stays this congested in the middle. They've got a corner. I, I mean, even though Ryan Kent's on it, I'm not there. No, that's what I was expecting. Right, as we get to half time, some of those boys are looking like it's the end of the game, when it certainly is not, and that might stand us in good stead. Keon Harris has picked himself up a booking, well done to him. As uh, you can see, sus suspensions. I'm hoping some of these don't lead to... Actually, I might check that very quickly. Are any of our boys on yellow card warnings? I don't think they are, so I think we're okay. Okay, tactically, we are going to keep it the same. Um, and we, we don't have a massive amount of wingers to bring on. I've got the Finnish chap who obviously isn't in the squad today that we could have played. Uh, Otadal and Pat Rogers, not having the greatest of games. I'm going to I'm gonna put a rocket up them at half-time, and then if it doesn't seem to pay off, uh, we'll see what occurs in the second half. The pace of both of them, though, should cause problems, so we'll trust them for now, and I'm going to encourage them as they go out for the second half as well, and hopefully we see a slightly better performance. Otherwise, Tipping and Cousins will be on very quickly. Of course, this is the tune-up game before the Chelsea match as well, so we want it to be good. We want to we produce... Some good football. They're not having a particularly good game when you look at it. So um, with not long left to go, we, we're going to need something soon. Otherwise, changes will have to happen. I don't really want that to happen. As well, just finds Altadal. The two combine. Altadal, that is poor. Really poor. I'm going to give them about seven minutes to score a goal between them. And if they do, they'll stay out there. Wolford then does brilliantly to keep that in. Hughes into Holmes now, into Harris. And the Triple H is combined. Pat Rogers goes back out to Wolford. Ball's got to be good and is. Hughes at the back post. Altenel's there. Into the back of the net. I had, had the trust in them to get the goal eventually. And they do. That puts us, I think, into the top, maybe to the top of the table. I don't know if that's 41 updated or, or not. But Hughes, you can see, some nice link play for us. Rogers finds Wolford out on that right-hand side, whose delivery to the back post is brilliant. The knockdown from Hughes, superb. Uh, but then the scissor kicked knee from Altadal. I don't think it hits his foot. I think it hits his knee. Goes in. Maybe a slight bit of fortune. Don't care. Literally, never, if, it, if it goes our way, I've never cared. All right, 15 minutes left to go. And I say, Pat Rogers not having the greatest time. So Cousins is going to come in. McDonald's going to come in for Burgess as well, who's tiring a little bit. And a double change. Hopefully, with about 10 minutes to go, we can see this out. We're going to start the control system and uh, try and... Well, I, I would kind of hope us to get a... Holness is getting sent off. So he's going to miss the game against Chelsea, isn't he? Well, Andy Murray is going to come on then. Uh, Hughes is going to go off, and we're going to go to the back four. Not ideal, and we'll switch to the counter-attack as well, as we're a man less. Hopefully, we hold on. Holmes has got a free kick, plays it in. Harris is there. That could have been two, and that would have sealed it. Now we have to hold on. Ten men, four minutes about a time, and there's a corner to them. It's played in. It's cleared. There's a breakaway if we can get it clear, but they're not done yet. Fitzpatrick with a good save, and away it goes. And it's a penalty for what? It's a penalty kick. Fitzpatrick to be the hero late on. 90 second minute you're having a laugh in yeah oh for god's sake what's it for who is it on and what's it for i mean uh, forget the penalty i know he scores it what what was it for right so they play into there look duncan's on it is it on him like where's the baldwin are you having a laugh is that really the only, what it's for the fact he falls over i'll look at it again i mean he just kicks the ball away it's not a, it's not a penalty is it it's just not <sighs> okay well Another. This happened last episode. This happened last episode or the episode before. 
This is getting ridiculous. Every one we play like this is happening. Well, this might stand us in good stead. You never know. We might beat Chelsea now. But there it is. Co Co Coventry. Ugh, piss off. I certainly said unlucky boys wasn't our day. We've been conned by the referee. The referee has been, has been conned. That's the real issue here. Chelsea in a couple of days. Holness is injured. That's uh, Sorry, suspended. <sighs> right then. And now we go to Stamford Bridge. So that's good. Our, and our away record of 100% is now being destroyed as well. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. Is it obvious I'm not happy, viewers? Is it obvious I'm not happy? Because I'm not happy. Come on, boys. Not like this. Oh, we've got a partnership with Dover. Excellent. I did I did plan that. I want to send a few players out on loan. Uh, Roy Nelson, preferably. You know, Ben and Dover, classic combination. That isn't why, by the way. That's not why we've got them as an affiliate. And I can't get a senior affiliate. I've tried for years. It's not happening. Right then. Tensions turn to Stamford Bridge. Uh, attentions or tensions turn to Stamford Bridge. Wholeness is obviously going to have to step out then. And I guess Andy Murray is going to go in at the back there, which is... Not ideal. Lawrence Smith can find his way back into the side, though, for, for Harris. Obviously, he was obviously a big miss in that last game, potentially. Hard to say. Uh, he has been one of our top performers this year, though. We're going to stick with this uh, lineup, though, although there's a temptation to bring in Lewis Ramsey, who, when he plays, plays very well. And actually, I think we are going to make that switch back in. Uh, Wolfenden's definitely going to find a place on the bench for him, though. Clark will have to step out for this one, I think. And uh, here we go. People mentioned, by the way, uh, Clark, something I didn't notice. He had a 10 rating. Which is unbelievable. In one of his years, a 10 rating. I mean, it's uh, lovely to see. Well, he must have saved a penalty or something. Who knows? Uh, but this is the line then. Fitzpatrick will be in goal. Ramsey, Wilkinson, Murray and Welsh. Smith, Holmes and Burgess. Uh, Hughes behind Arthur and Rogers. I'm now looking at it and I'm thinking, actually, let's change it. Let's put Burgess further forward and let's bring in Barry McDonnell in the centre. I've played this quite a few times before. I think Burgess behind those front two, though, has been quite deadly for me this year. So let's give it a whirl. Right. Late change, but I think a good change. I think I would do this ordinarily. So let's do it ordinarily. Ordinarily. Let's make sure it would be ordinary. So, that's the Chelsea side. Uh, a couple of players you work recognise, I imagine. Savage uh, is there, 35 years of age. They're not taking this seriously. Him against Altidale, by the way. Is that, what is that what we're trying to do? And Eggstein is there as well. Hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, currently s s sitting at Bremen in real life. And obviously quite a few regions there. They've got Steve King up front, who looks pretty dangerous. But I assume he's just like a backup player. Yeah, right. Well, they're, they're okay. Here we go then. This is time to play. Right, we've got nothing to lose here. Go out there, show everyone what we're capable of, and uh, I'm going to tell them I've got faith in them. And actually, they're a bit a bit demoralised there, but I've turned them round nicely. And there we go then. Can we do it? So far, Watford beaten, Hull City beaten, and now Chelsea at Stamford Bridge away from home. We've been good, not lost this year. This year away from home. Uh, so here we go then. It's Chelsea to get things underway. We're a minute in, and I'm already a bit nervous. Welsh finds Rodgers though, and it could it be the perfect start for Thames since Burgess already finds his way through. Played towards Altadale, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was happening. Headed back forward, though. McDonnell. And let's see, can we have more possession at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea? We're playing the system we know and love. We're playing this controlled style. Let's see if it pays off as uh, Chelsea get it cleared. Now, the quality they're going to have in the final third is going to be problematic. And they're sort of demonstrating that now by keeping it, knocking it round, making us a bit nervous. We're not even a two minutes in yet as King goes through. And I highlighted him before the game when he's at the post, which is a bit of a let off, I suspect. Okay, will that be a big moment in the game? They've got an injury at right back to P. Morgan. Piers Morgan? Peter Morgan. Similar. Actually, he's not that good either. Look at him there, look. I'm just, just saying. As uh, the ball's played to the edge, King's on it again. Shot goes in. Fitzpatrick saves them. So far, Chelsea with the early chances. Look at that, though. We've got a lot of players forward here that they are not bothering about. As Rodgers brings it down. Alterdale. There's no way. Alterdale scores! We're holding off against Chelsea. We have to play badly in the league game to succeed in this. Alterdale scores again against better opposition. It's Thames 1, Chelsea 0. Fitzpatrick launched it up. They just looked like they weren't bothered about defending. It was like a 4v3. We turn on it. Rodgers plays it for us to Alterdale. Those two combine as they always do. Could do it last game. But there we go. The Thames massive behind the goal, goal go wild. And we're 1-0 off against against Chelsea we are 1-0 up against Chelsea I'm gonna keep saying it we're 1-0 up against Chelsea and this is episode 100 what a way to celebrate but oh my word imagine just imagine and I kind of fancy us as well that's the weirdest part about this their side is not the strongest it can be as soon as you say that Ben there's a highlight are you nervous yes you are Murray brings it down can we find a way through? Are we technical enough? Oh, Willick wins it back. Oh, he sm my God, they were not messing about. Smashes it into the top corner. And it was as soon as I said we could do it, it all turned. Oh, God damn it. Okay, not, not a problem. A little bit of a problem. You can see here, we do give it away. Murray into Welsh. I, I, I don't necessarily think that's a bad ball. He leaves him out to dry a little bit. Willick nips in, though, and a great finish from him there. 1-1. Highlight after the goal. Hello. 
All right. The worst thing now would be a second Chelsea goal, as we work that really nicely. Pat Rogers into Alterdale, whose touch is okay, actually. Back to Rogers. And now Burgess, if you get into the centre, no way. Burgess, oh, he's tackled. It goes to Welsh. And now maybe make sure you're passing slightly better than before. That's much better. To Ramsey. Into McDonald. Alterdale wants it, and he's ready for it. Smith now. I found, I, I'm, oh, no. Don't say anything, Ben. I kind of thought it was going to be a goal for us. We win it back. McDonald. No, we lose it in the centre. This is so back and forth. And this is the highlight after the goal. So something's bound to happen somewhere. McDonald into Burgess. Pat Rogers. He's away. Otterdahl's in the middle. If he can find him, he does. Otterdahl gets another one. It's 2-1 Thames. And we're back in the lead at Stamford Bridge. What is going on? I love this. I love the, I, what I find the best thing about this is we were pretty underwhelmed against commentary. Conceded the last minute penalty. And now we come out and do this at Stamford Bridge. Talk about upping your game in the big matches. Otterdahl finishes it. Two for him on the night. Writing himself into Thames folklore like he hasn't already been. Okay, and there's another highlight, and we're talking through them all. And Alterdale could be in for the hat trick here if he can bring it under control. He finds Burgess, but I just could have made that is a massive chance. He could have made it three. Corner to Chelsea, played in. Murray gets it away, sort of. He gets the first touch on it at least. And now Harewood back out to that left hand side, and he finds himself in some space. Ball into the middle, Willock's there. Pops it in. Chelsea are clinical when given opportunities. And it's always a bit nerfy. But there's loads of time left. The Watford game was a, was a, was a doozy, wasn't it? So we might have another one of those. Um, we'll skip it. We know it goes in. We'll move on. But twice we've led at Stamford Bridge. Regardless of what happens now, we were, for a moment it was happening. So who cares? As um, we go at half time then. 2-2. Two, two, and I've taken that all day every day as we, uh, we give a passionate team talk. Um... It's time for everyone to dig in, give everything you've got left tonight. We deserve to win this match. Let's go and do it. A few of them seem a bit miffed. We'll try and turn them around with some more passion because that's always how, that's always a way to fix problems with passion. I mean, there we go. It has worked a little bit for the most part. Here we go then, boys. Can we do it? Tippins and Cousins ready to come on if needs be. But Alterdale so far, I mean, not a man you're going to bring off. And Rogers, by the way, with two assists in a big game, noted. Question is then, can we fight? Their defence are in a shocker, by the way. 6.4, 6.3, 6.6 and 6.2. We've got them on toast right now. As Speaking of which, Alterdale has got it. Well, he sort of had it, but he gives it away and he chases back. That's what you love about him. The pace of him is a real problem. And now he might even set up an attack of his own. Alterdale, he's got the pace to beat them. He goes in on goal. Alterdale, it, oh, it's, oh, it's not gone in. I, I'd have expected it to at this, at this stage. Nearly an hour on the clock. Fitzpatrick. I mean, this could have been an episode all on its own. Let's face it. Alterdale with a flick on to Rogers, who's in on goal. He's got loads of players around him. Does well to hold it up and play back to Welsh. He loses out, though. And this is where we could have a problem on our hands. As King races away. There's Chelsea players piling forward. Chelsea into the box. Pulls it back to Willock, who's got his third. Kirk Willock has had an absolutely amazing game. It's a hat-trick for him. Oh, we were on the attack. What could have been? God damn it. Kirk Willock, is he, is he a decent... <laughs> Yep. Well, that is the quality, isn't it? I mean, we've looked good, though. Apart from that one guy, Chelsea have not been at this, and there's still time as Pat Rogers chases down a loose ball at the back. It's played forward. Alterdale, not over yet. Pat Rogers, surely not. I mean, he could have scored. We could have had more from this. There's about 25 minutes left to go with added time included. Is there a time for to get this? McDonald, by the way, is having a shocker out there. Get him off. Keon Harris is going to come on. Is he going to come on? He's not particularly attacking. This is the worry. Can Smith play further forward? Neither of them can. Okay, we're not going to do that then. We're going to we're going to come up with a different plan. All right, Ben Cousins is going to come on and he's going to play in behind the front two, which is not his natural position, but I think he'll do quite well there. He's quite a technical player. We'll we'll give him a chance. As Chelsea though, I've got a free kick and Willock down to King. I don't know if the, I don't know if the changes are taking place. I assume not. But Chelsea four two and we're going to have to go for this. We'll go attacking, which. It's probably going to be suicidal. But regardless, the ball played in. Headed down by Willock. Again, great performance from him. 4-2. Ah, oh, in that first half. I just felt like we had him. Do you know what? Forget attacking. We'll go back to control. It's the way like, it's the way we came to play as um, another Chelsea chance. King, it goes off the back of Welsh. He's not had a great game, to be fair. And now he's got himself an own goal as well. That's certainly not going to help things. More possession, though. Better pass completion than Chelsea so far in the game. I can I can be happy with that. As, um, yeah, that's a tad fortunate. 5-2. It's not a fair score line, in my opinion, but but whatever, this will happen. It, it could end up being 6-2, which I think would be really cruel, actually. I think that's not fair. Oh, at one point in this, I mean, good defending, we get it away. Could there be, is there still time? We, as we counter-attack once again, Alterdale, he's got runners. Patty Rogers plays it across to Cousins. Oh, he's got to turn on himself a little bit. Back into Holmes, shot on goal. There's a chance, Pat Rogers. Okay, 5-3, bit more respect. Is there still time, viewers? Is there still time? There's a highlight after the goal. Is there still time? 
I think if we score again, I might have to go out of the room because I'm not sure I could handle it. But Willick might be here to cause us some more pain. Played in. There's a highlight after the goal and it's launched up towards Alterdale. Now, it, it all it comes to who's going to break from this and who's going to get the final chance. And we have the ball in our possession. The knockdown isn't good. Alterdale, if you could play through Pat Rogers, oh, that could have been a chance. Rogers is still going to get on this, is he? No, the ball goes back to the keeper and cleared. But I don't think this is quite over yet. Cousins, oh, he's lost out. Ball up towards King. Okay, now I'm scared Chelsea might score again here as they bring forward the ball. King across to Willock again. Four, I mean, he's very good, isn't he? Kirk Willock, remember the name. Four goals for him. 6-3, I feel like it's a bit harsh. This second half's been crazy. Smith with a free kick. Oh, that would have been nice. If you'd have said to me, you'll score three against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, I'd probably say, what, they scored six, but it's a bit of a shame in that regard. But what a great performance. I did say at half-time, whatever happens, you've got to be pretty happy with it. And these boys proving that not only are they capable in League One, they, they can hang in the Premier League as well. As uh, we go forward again, it looks like it's going to be that though. Ten seconds to go. I hope they get a, a stunning ovation from the Thames Massive that have travelled because they definitely deserve it. We've had more possession. I say better pass completion. Tackles one was the same. More headers one. Just that extra bit of quality from Chelsea on the day beats us. Kirk Willock rightly takes man of the match. But what a performance from Altidale. Two goals in the game. You've got to be pleased with it. And I'm going to say, despite the result, you played brilliantly, which they did. And there we go then. We nearly had it, viewers. There was that moment. And that then is going to bring us to the end of the episode. I will see you probably uh, in January at, at the next point. There's quite a few games to play in the middle of that. I mean, may well do. I mentioned it last season. We might do sort of an hour-long episode at some point. Uh, where we play lots of games continuously and see how we get on. That might even be the December period that I might bring you. You, know, you never know. Uh, it might be the next episode. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, do leave a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel. And we love with care. If you want to spend you until next time, goodbye. Thinking about it, the hour-long hour episode will be next week at some point. Just bear it out. Ah, much like yesterday, the audio is ever so slightly burnt out. It won't happen again. It was just on these two videos I recorded the other day. Sorry about that. I hope it didn't affect you. And if you did enjoy it, then do leave a like. And I will see you for tomorrow for more.